Hey guys, welcome to complete web application step-by-step -step tutorial. I am Ripondatho. In this module, I am going to create the database table and I will insert some demo data. Then finally, I will show you or display the data from the database using entity framework. So let's get started. First of all, I want to create the database. So I'm creating the database using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Right click new database. Let's say my database name is online shopping store. Then you can specify the path where you want to keep the data files. Okay. then I need to create the table so the table I need to add the product ID which is integer and which is a primary key then name worker 50 then description worker description let's say 500 then price let's say decimal 16 to decimal places mm, then category so category or you can say and worker right and save the table as products products all right so our table is created now I need to insert some demo data so either you can use insert query or you can directly store the data for the demo purpose basically I want to keep the product ID as identity column so identity yes and so first one is t-shirt description category let's say for men price let's say 34 alright similarly alright I inserted data in the table now I want to display this data into the our application so first of all I need to configure the web config file in the web config file I need to add a connection string so connection string then I need to add name ef db context then connection string right so as you can see connection string data source equal my server name initial catalog that means database name which is online shopping store integrated security through and provided a school client right now I need to add a concrete implementation of I product repository for this repository so what I need to do is I need to add a folder let's say 
concrete and in the concrete I want to add a class EF product repository public class and it is implemented i product repository add the using namespace all right so it will implement the methods and the concrete implementation i need to add another class which is db context so this is ef db context you might notice that my db context name and my connection string name is same as you can see ef db context and my connection string name is ef db context so you have to have the same name for connection string and your db context name then entity framework will automatically get it otherwise you have to specify the connection string name so in this case we are going to add db context using namespace all right now db set product products I have to add the namespace for product which is and it is all right now we can add private read only e f db context let's say context equal new ef db context and in the get property i need to send the context context dot products and i need to return these products so build the application rebuild succeeded all right i want to keep it only product so i need to add the namespace using the statement or the product all right now go to the inject app common and now i don't need this mocking object anymore so i want to inject only entity product repository to the i product repository so what we need to do is kernel bind to i product repository to entity framework ef product repository so I need to add right it is already added build the solution will succeed now run the application oops because we need to configure the route table our con default controller is product and default action is list 
I can run the project. Here you go. As you can see, t-shirt, price, details, then product name, price, details, and so on. So these values are coming from our database. So at this point, I just show you how to display the data from the database using entity framework. Go to the layout view. Don't need these things right now. Then I need only the face render, I mean render body. And title should be view title dash online shopping store. Okay. As you can see, so this is our view title which is products then our online shopping store this is coming from our uh, layout view which is kind of master view thank you very much for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial i will go through the pagination if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and i would like to have your comment in the comment box so please write your comment in the comment box Thank you. See you soon in the next tutorials. Till then, bye.